Welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagai, Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today we are doing a non-evergreen video. <laughs> Most of my videos are evergreen, but this one is very time, time stamped specific because we are here. We have arrived. We have arrived uh, in time for the lunar eclipse. And so today I want to address some of those energies and what is next. So we're going to be linking to our full circle cycle closure and raising our vibration for the next cycle because we're entering a brand new cycle with this lunar eclipse. Now I'm not going to get all into the technical specifics because there's a lot of people who are about, who are better at this than I am in terms of the planetary alignment but we are having a lunar eclipse and we are in this eclipse season. We've got five I think five planets in retrograde right now and so we are in this shift for change, manifestation, new energies, and a very swift uh, change in our world, in how we, how we deal with things, what's going on, the energies that are surrounding us, the things that, are, that we've been working on manifesting, the seeds that we've planted, the things that we still haven't closed out, all that stuff's coming to the surface now. There's no more masking, there's no more pushing away, there's no more denying can't deny anymore. Can't If there's work that you have to do, you can't deny it anymore. And if there's things you haven't closed out, there's no denying it anymore. And there's, if there's things that you really want and wish for and desire and you haven't put in the work for it, there's no denying that anymore. Everything's coming to the surface. So basically all the band-aids are ripped off and it's all exposed. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to be addressing some of these energies, these feelings, these emotions, and I want your feedback. And for those of you who want to hit me up on social media and direct message me, please feel free to do so. I'm here for you to help you through this. I know it's not easy and for some of you it's harder than others because based on where the planets are in retrograde and how that falls into your natal chart, some of you are feeling it, man. Some of you are feeling it and some of you are in still kind of in a duck, uh, stuck place and some of you are in a dark place and some of you are coming out the end of it feeling a little bit lighter. And those who have done the work are definitely feeling a lot lighter. And those who are still struggling with it may have a few questions or, or ways that they need to learn how to navigate that. And I'm here for you, uh, you know, to be able to answer any questions that you may have. So please feel free, free to do that. I'm going to just kind of open up the realm there of, of infinite possibilities of how you can get unstuck. Uh, anyway, so let's, first of all, um, just kind of want to address some things. Uh, when I first started this channel really crappily a few years ago, like three years ago, four years ago, I didn't really have any uh, direction uh, or objective with it other than my pure heart intention to just really help as many people as I can uh, through this process. I knew back then that this day was coming. I knew back then that this day was coming. And so I answered my soul's call to be able to help with some of that navigation and it kind of got wonky like it went all over the place like I've had everything from decluttering your mind and dealing with trust and dealing with love and dealing with forgiveness dealing with boundaries dealing with your defense mechanisms uh, covering the spectrum of finding your happy place finding joy uh, looking at your levels of abundance um, looking at the place of lack, learning how to have gratitude. Uh, I mean, we've done a lot of work, people. <laughs> we've done a lot of work, and then we took it into the transition of self-care, self-love, self-worth, uh, dealing with your truth, um, how to navigate the two places of the 3D and the 5D, dealing with some of this other vibrational energy, uh, dealing with co-workers and friends and family and your neighborhood and community and environment, your higher calling, your soul's purpose. I mean, we've covered a lot of ground. And first of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who are who are putting in the work, who are committed, courageous and brave to be stepping forward to do the work and saying, you know, hey, I want to go there. I'm not afraid to face it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I'm very, um, I'm humbled by that. I'm humbled by that. I'm grateful for it. I am. I have gratitude in my heart for the fact that you trusted me with your journey and for my clients, 
shout out, um, who are privately behind the scenes, who don't really do click on these videos, who are just kind of there. You know who you are. Uh, I want to thank you for for trusting me with the journey and, and going on some of our arduous treks in terms of some of the excavation and things that we've done, exploration, and for trusting me with that. It was an honor and a privilege and I really, really, truly appreciate it. And for those of you who I haven't met, who are out here in the collective, who are kind of hanging in and hanging on, um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And I appreciate the opportunity to be able to assist any way that I can. Now, as we get into this new space with this lunar eclipse happening, what's happening with the energies is that we are we are really doing a full shift of consciousness. And in the very beginning of the, God, was it next level video? <laughs> I can't remember. Next level video or the healing video. I don't know. I channel. The, I do these in one take. I don't edit or anything. It just So one of the videos I talked about, you know, our, our timeline, changing our timeline. First of all, I want to kind of clarify some things because I had a couple questions come in my inbox. Um, we are all on our own individual timelines. So I want to make that very, very clear. We're all on our own individual timelines. But what's happening with all this eclipse season and the five planets are in retrograde right now and this shift with this lunar eclipse is we're all being asked to step up in our own timeline. So we're still kind of all at different levels. Just want to make that clear to everybody. But we're being asked to rise above because it's now you're either going to go into the new timeline with the new energy or you're going to get dragged through it. And I don't want any, any of you to get dragged through it because this energy is going to follow us from the rest of this year to the end of this year to the beginning of January 2020. And so that's why today's message is not evergreen. It is very time sensitive um, for what's going on in the collective. So as we shift this place, I want you to reflect on your progress. I want you to take time to appreciate where you've been, the hard work you've put in, the seeds you have planted to sprout, the things you've put into manifestation, the, the work that you've done at purging and letting go and releasing and, and forgiving and healing and, and all of that. You've, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, and I know your soul's tired. Believe me, I know your soul's tired, and mine's tired too. But, you know, we keep showing up, right? We keep showing up in the 3D and in the 5D, and we, we, we do the work that we have to do because all of us have an individual calling that is unique to who we are. We, are, we all have that, unique to who we are. And the more that we keep evolving with our own unique soul, our own unique self, our own unique divine purpose, um, you know, we have to keep going along with the energy as it escalates, as it changes, as it transforms, as we transform. So we have this energy where we can create the movement. And that's really what this is all about. So I want you to reflect on your progress. I want you to express things that, that you learned and write this down um, as we get the lunar eclipse. I want you to write down what you learn why you appreciate it and then I want you to release that and then we're gonna to get to the fun part uh, because all of these what hundred and eight something videos we've been purging and we've been releasing and we've been letting go and we've been decluttering and we've been what happens when you take everything out of your space we make room for new things. We make room for new energy. We make room for new opportunities. We make room for positivity. We've released all of the negative. We've, we've, we've changed the vibration in the pathway. So now abundance means something different because it's not about need and it's not about greed. It's about true heart desire, passion, want, and that's okay for the 3D human. That's okay because you've cleared out all the other stuff that doesn't serve you. So when we do that, we make room for wishes, dreams, perhaps even addressing some bucket list things. We, what we're doing is we've made room for that. And the human experience and the soul experience are now kind of coming together. They're uniting. We're coming into union. We're coming into union. More importantly, we're coming into union with ourselves. Our higher selves and our earthly selves are now uniting as one. And so what, what happens when that happens? We're not only whole, but we're whole in like a 2.0 version. 
And when we're whole in a 2.0 version, now when we relate to other people who are also in the whole 2.0 version as opposed to the one point version or point version, point whatever, five version, we are, we are now merging collective consciousness and evolution and positivity and self-love and self-worth and the work that we've invested, the work that we've put in to evolve and grow and thrive and become, now we're at this beautiful place. So what's on your list? What do you want on your abundance list now? What, what, what new things are you gonna put there now that you've purged all the other things that don't serve you anymore? What's on that list? So when the lunar eclipse happens, that's what I want you to think about. And I want you to think it, see it, speak it, manifest it. We are in manifestation mode to like the next level, the next vibration. And be very clear, be very, very clear. Now that you've gotten everything else out of the way and you've done the other work, be very, very clear about what that is and express it from a place of gratitude in your heart for the opportunity to do that. Express it from a place of your higher mind in thanking the journey and spirit for the challenges you faced to make you who you are today in order to be in this place, to be able to, to manifest a new place of abundance on your new timeline for this next chapter in your new cycle and for your journey ahead. So take time to do that today. I know it's busy, everyone's busy, we're all busy, but take time to do that today because you're worth it and you've put in the work and certainly deserve to at least now get the sprinkles on the top of your cake with the fireworks, okay? You deserve that now because you put in the work to build the foundation and the layers. You waited patiently for everything to bake. You waited patiently for everything to cool. You waited patiently so you can frost things, you know? And so now we're, we're there, we're there to celebrate and make a wish and put all that manifestation positive energy for the highest, greatest good for your next chapter. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Linkernicity, blogspot.com, and go to linkernicity.com for private coaching sessions. And I'm here for all of you. Uh, if you have questions during this, these next few days, it's going to get kind of gnarly um, if you haven't yet caught up. So it, time to get it in order, time to get clear, and uh, let's start manifesting your best life now. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and happy wishing, happy manifesting, happy dreaming, happy new creation for your new level, your next level of happiness, joy, health, and life.